places. When the savings are this good. Yes! You'll never believe what I found. No brand is safe. What? I literally have the receipts. Get ready to say yes for less. At Ross. Closed captioning on ABC7 is sponsored by Service Champions, home of the world's friendliest technicians, our famous happy money promise, and good deeds for free. Here's today, 7 on 7. Some people living in a controversial RV lot in Silmar are still there despite being ordered to leave. We have seen several people come out this morning with bags, but many return right back to their RV. Their deadline to move out was yesterday. The L.A. Sheriff's Department caught in controversy again. A video shows a violent confrontation involving a deputy in Whittier after the victim says he flipped off the officer. Today, L.A. Mayor Karen Bass will deliver the annual State of the Agency Metro Address. The biggest concern for many riders is safety. The former dean of USC School of Social Work is set to be sentenced on federal bribery charges today. Marilyn Flynn admitted to funneling $100,000 through the university. Barbenheimer brought in the big fourth biggest box office weekend in North American history. Barbie brought in $155 million, while Oppenheimer made nearly $81 million. A memorial is planned today for the founder of the Magic Castle, Milt Larson. He passed away in May at the age of 92. And the United Nations Command is in talk with North Korea over detained U.S. soldier Travis King. He's the first known American held in North Korea in nearly five years. And that's your 7 on 7. If you're watching us here on Channel 7, Good Morning America is next with Lindsay, Robin, and George. And we're getting set for Eyewitness News at 7 a.m. You can watch on our website or the ABC7 Los Angeles app. Have a great day. America for our viewers in the West, the relentless heat on the move. Record smashing temperatures from coast to coast, now taking aim at the heartland. With 40 million Americans under alert right now, the death toll climbing and in Greece. Apocalyptic flames burning beaches as thousands race to escape the ferocious wildfires in the country's largest evacuation ever. Breaking overnight, new details about the U.S. soldier in North Korean custody, plus the rising tensions between China and Taiwan over new military exercises, China sending 37 warplanes into the air in 24 hours. This morning, massive protests sweeping Israel ahead of a crucial vote that could threaten the country's democracy. An Ohio Police Department now investigating after an officer ordered a canine to attack an unarmed suspect who already surrendered. Shocking caught on camera crash. When a car plunged off a road in San Francisco, everyone is okay, but what happened? X marks the spot overnight. Elon Musk's big move. Why Twitter's famous bird logo is flying the coop. Jamie Foxx, in his own words. I went through something that I, I thought I would never, ever go through. The Oscar winner speaking for the first time since his health scare, saying he went to hell and back. Mississippi strong. GMA is back on the ground in Rolling Fork, four months after the devastating and deadly tornado, with a growing frustration and the signs of hope. Oh, my God. And here comes the USA. The U.S. women with the first win at the World Cup. And it's a Barbie party in the USA. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. The blockbuster shattering records combined with Oppenheimer for the fourth biggest box office weekend in history. And we're hitting it out of the park, searching for the best stadium snacks across the country. Ginger stepping up to the plate in Cleveland this morning. Get ready to play ball with GMA. Live in Times Square, this is Good Morning America. It looks like Ginger threw a strike. Yeah, yeah she's a nice arm. I hope you guys had a good weekend. Yeah. It was certainly a pitch-perfect day, the ballpark nice. in Cleveland, but as the new week begins, temperatures are expected to soar even higher for millions of Americans. That's not so nice. Yeah. The middle of the country bracing for triple-digit temperatures. These last three weeks have been the hottest ever recorded on Earth. Victor Akendo starts us off in Miami, where they have seen a record 43 consecutive days of 100 degrees or more on the heat index. Good morning, Victor. 
Good morning, Robin. This heat wave is unprecedented, even for Miami this time of year. On Sunday, we hit 98 degrees, the hottest day in three years, and it stretches well beyond Florida. This relentless heat gripping a large swath of the country. This morning, the dangerous and deadly heat.